Hey, I'm back with an update on the truck. Last time you saw it, it was uh, just finishing up getting painted in the paint booth. I've got it back home now. It's all reassembled uh, for the most part. And I just want to give you a quick walk around and show you what the final product looked like. Uh, the red is uh, Ford Vermilion Red. It's uh, a bit brighter than the uh, factory red, which is more of a cherry red. Um, went ahead and did the uh, grill, uh, painted the insets as well. Uh, just because when you have a, a fresh paint job on a truck, all the black trim looks really old afterwards. So I had to go back and do all the trim as well. The wheels are new as well. They're uh, fuel ends uh, 15 by 8 and they're uh, simulated bead lock. And I went ahead and took them all apart, I took all the bolts out, painted the center bronze, and I painted the outer ring uh, red. And the bolts were already black. And while I had that all apart, I got into some detail and painted the hubs as well, cleaned those up, and uh, got some new lug nuts. And if you look way back in here, you can see a red caliber peeking out while I had it all apart. I'm going to make that look nice too. Tailgate, you know this bed's fiberglass. This tailgate uh, was pretty, uh, pretty warped actually. You can still see. Uh, a couple miscellaneous things I have to do yet is I need to find clips to put this back on. I looked everywhere online, I couldn't find them. I, I just read they're pretty much impossible to not break when you take them off. And I got to figure out windshield trim situation. Um, I'd love to find a one-piece rubber seal like more modern cars have. Uh, however, I may end up having to find these clips and put the eight-piece metal trim back on. I did paint it black just in case. I had that blue hood on the truck, however I ended up just going with a uh, new reproduction hood because the underside was pretty ugly, had a lot of rust on it. Um, this was the way to go. And clean up the engine a little bit, painted the valve cover, a couple miscellaneous pieces I painted, got the air cleaner, just to kind of help that compare to the rest of the truck. But the rest of it, I didn't really want to get into taking all this stuff out and repainting the bay. So it is what it is on that. Underneath here is a few new goodies. I went with a uh, Trail Gear high steer kit and got a IFS box mounted up in the frame there. And I got that all painted up. It's looking like it's fresh black. Oil pan was chipped up, a bit rusted. I actually painted the same color about, I don't know, four or so years ago. And it just didn't really hold up that well. So that's got some fresh paint on it. And my skip plate no longer fits because of the uh, higher raised up steering link. So now uh, everybody gets to see my uh, pretty new oil pan. So here's a, here's a few shots of the truck I took in a uh, studio here and uh, you know it's it's not a show truck it looks pretty good for 85 Toyota but uh, I'm still gonna have some fun with it I'm gonna stick to the main trails I'm not gonna be bumping on any trees but uh, I'll definitely still off-road it it's got 189,000 miles on it so I'm definitely gonna take care of it now I mean it's a classic this truck's been getting hard to find in good shape so I definitely don't want to beat it up so that's it, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully the next video you see of this truck, it will be out on a trail in Wellsville.